What's up, guys? Welcome back once again to another episode during this Elixir week while I am over in Finland doing it big, hanging out with the Clash and Boom community, guys. It's going to be awesome. I know I'm having a lot of fun right now. I'm recording this before I go. Um, <clears throat> but I hope that you guys are enjoying the vlogs. You've probably seen a vlog by now, I would imagine. I don't know when this is going up yet, but definitely make sure that you guys continue following Twitter. It's Molt underscore C-O-C. Uh, check out the Twitter and you can see pictures of all of us hanging out so on and so forth But in this episode today, we are going to be raiding with 48 max giants and Two heal spells two jump spells and one lightning spell Let's go ahead and jump into this thing see if we can find ourselves a base that has a pretty good amount of loot as well as um a good chance of us being able to work our way around so we don't want there to be too many sections with the walls or anything like that this one would be perfect but there is no loot at that base at all so uh, I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds once I find a base that I think will make for a good video hopefully we can find one like I just said with not too many sections so that our uh, giants aren't just beating on the walls the whole time, but we've got jump spells to help out with that So I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds like I've said 15 freaking times already or We could attack this I don't know if I want to attack this base. We're not gonna uh, Do we want to no we're not gonna attack it. I'll be back with you guys in a sec <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna attack this base because I feel like it can be pretty fun uh, to see what happens on it. So why don't we just go ahead and jump into this thing? Uh, I'm gonna drop off a Jump spell right there on the middle of that and we are going to just drop off a whole bunch of our Giants I'm gonna drop off our king as well to take out this king uh, Or he's just gonna go take out his pad, you know, like it's it's whatever the king can do whatever he wants to <laughs> Noob all right, so that king's gonna get in there and then let's drop off the other jump spell uh, looks like they're breaking through pretty quick, so we'll drop off the other jump spell right around here. Um, we should have actually probably dropped one of them off close to that Inferno Tower. Because that thing is going to cause a lot of damage to us, and we don't want it to do that. So I'm going to drop off a heal spell right around there as well. And let's just drop off these giants kind of as distraction uh, from the rest of the troops. Our king is up there just doing his own little thing as always. We've got a good amount of giants over here. I'm going to go ahead and use the king's ability now and give him a little extra health. Let's go ahead and heal up as many of these giants right here as we can. Where is our queen at? I forgot. All right, so we put the queen up there. So we've already got 36% of this base done and destroyed. That inferno tower is wrecking us. I definitely, definitely should have saved one of my jump spells. But look at that. It just went out. Yes, it just went out. That is hilarious. So our giants are about to destroy everything in this base. Uh, our king is down, but our giants are going to split up a little bit. Hopefully get into the center of the base. I wish that the queen would run over there to that archer tower so the giants wouldn't have to, but that's okay. Now our giants are just going to spread out and start taking everything out once they get into the center of this base. Um, I'm probably going to pop the queen's ability maybe... Uh, in 15 20 seconds so that we get a couple of archers to help us out uh, when it comes to the damage dealing uh, So I might as well just go ahead and do that now so that we get more archers to help us out The king or the Giants are getting rid of some of the bombs. So now we have some <clears throat> Archers that can spread around and help us do uh, extra damage Our king is done all of our look at this all of our Giants are pounding away on the town hall right now this is hilarious. Get after it, boys. We've got like 10 of them maybe in the middle right now. Hopefully they'll split up, and they do. That's good. We've got 30 seconds. No way that we're going to get a three-star. Uh, not even a chance. Uh, <laughs> maybe if the king was still up, we could have saved him. But <clears throat> some of the giants are splitting up, getting the rest of that loot. I wasn't expecting to get much loot from this, but we do have 18 seconds left, and our queen and her archers are running around. Look at that. The queen just skipped this gold storage. What a weirdo. The queen is such a weirdo. I do not understand her. So we got all the gold in the base, and I imagine we are about to get the rest of the elixir with one second left. No! Alright, so 90,000 gold. Not bad. 
Uh, two star, 91% with 48 Giants. That's what I'm talking about. Let's head on back. I'm going to train up 48 more, and then we will come back and knock out the rest of this once I find an attack <clears throat> that I think will be interesting for you guys. So here we go. We're going to train up 48 of these guys. Let's do the same uh, with the jump spells and the heal. We'll keep that lightning just in case we run into a base that has troops on it. But I'm going to go train these up, and I'll be back once I find a base worthy of attacking for you guys. All right, so hold tight. All right, guys, so I think that we are going to attack this base. I'm going to go ahead and drop off a jump spell right here. And let's go ahead and drop off a good amount of our giants up here. And then let's go ahead and drop off the other jump spell right here. And we'll drop off the rest of our giants down here at the bottom. Get a couple more in up here at the top. A couple more down here in the bottom. <clears throat> and we'll watch them hopefully they should be fine for a little bit they're heading into the center of the base so i really want to get them Woo! all right so we want to drop a heal for the ones that aren't targeted by the inferno towers and hopefully they can get in there and take out that inferno tower before they die because i'm not trying to have them die all right come on take it out 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 nice all right so they're taking that out and now they are just going to spread their way around the base. And it looks like there isn't much splash damage left over. Um, but I am going to drop a heal spell right here uh, for the giants as they head in there to do some work. Um, our king is still full health. We've got some giants over here on the side doing their thing. We're going to go ahead and drop the queen off right here as well. Uh, those giants up at the top are doing pretty good. There's still a good amount of them. Uh, the king's doing okay. He's about to get into the center of the base as well. Hopefully the queen will get in here and take out this archer tower before uh, the archer tower takes out the majority of those uh, of the giants, even though it looks like they already have. So all those giants up at the top, some of them are spreading out. That's good for us, uh, except for the fact that they're being on the wall, but they're going to get through it pretty quickly. So... We've got this queen right here. She's out of range of that cannon, which is awesome. Uh, all these giants up at the top are doing work. I don't want to use... Well, I am, I'm going to use my king's ability because there aren't any defenses around here. And we need as many troops as possible to spread out and take out everything that's up here. So our giants are doing work up there at the top. I'm going to go ahead and use our queen's ability as well right now to get us some extra troops up in here to start working on uh, the rest of the, the base. So the queen, you can see, is working on one thing. Her archers are working on another. We've got 49 seconds. It looks like our giants should get rid of all the defenses. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get over there to that Tesla without dying, but uh, they should be fine because it looks like there's about 10 of them. We're about to take out the town hall. We've got 35 seconds. Guys, this is actually working pretty well, surprisingly. We've got all the elixir now. Our queen is still working around. Our giants are now outside, and hopefully some will go out of the wall and some will stay in. And yep, that's exactly what happened, just like I wanted. So we might be able to get all of this gold if our queen gets over there. Come on, queen. Come on, queen. Get through the wall. Get through the wall. We should be able to get all these gold storages once the queen gets over there, and that is going to be all of the loot. Come on. Four seconds. All the loot except for the Dark Elixir. No! Another 90% though with 48 Giants, guys. Come on now. That's pretty good. That was an awesome raid. Uh, giants are freaking ridiculous. I feel like you could actually run with like 30 Giants uh, and bring in some Wizards or something like that to start clearing up at the end of it. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed. I uh, hope that y'all are enjoying this Elixir week. I'm having fun doing it, even though I'm recording all these before I go to Finland. So, uh, yeah. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys follow on Twitter, molt underscore coc. Uh, I'm going to be updating a lot of stuff on there while I am in Finland. Uh, make sure you check out the vlogs, too, because it's going to be cool stuff that you've never seen before. So, yeah. As always, guys, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.